Is Zashian OP or broken or bugged or what's going on here? Because this seems like a bit of a disaster. Yeah, it's not good. Oh, okay. Well, that's a lot. Huh. Yeah. Okay, so. Mm hmm. Yes. Also, yeah, broken. Okay. Mmm. Wow. Ooh. Yeehaw. Okay. Oh. Well, that's a. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, quite... Yeah, not good. Yeah, not good. So my first question, the first thing to get out of the way, is this OP? Is this broken? Does Timmy know? Do they care? What did they plan on doing exactly with this? Was this because it was not play tested? Or actually, is this the perfect storm of this Pokemon releasing on Pokemon Day with a brand new season? A season that should be pretty dang exciting because so much of the patch is good, but wow, having this thing around is so, so damaging to the rank system. Them. Let's get into it. Jake, your resident content cowboy here, yeehaw, and I want to hear from you in the comments what your opinions are on this whole situation. As always, be cool to each other, but I don't mind anyone disagreeing or anything like that as long as we are respectful to each other. I want to hear your thoughts on this whole situation. If we look back at some of our recent releases, we now have Zacian before that, Comfy, Dragapult, or Shifu, Sableye, Zoroar, Clefable, Scissor, Dodrio, Mew, all of these Pokemon have released in varying degrees of broken, bad, whatever. We have Zacian, which I believe is the most overpowered and broken release they have ever put into the game. That's my opinion. I do think it's worse than release Sylveon. I do think it's worse than release Blastoise. We have Comfy, which came into the game as just a sweet, sweet, sad little guy who could do okay if it was paired with an ally and you were duoing, trioing, maybe even in a five sec. He could do okay, but let's be fair, it was wildly undertuned. Now it's actually really, really powerful. We have Dragapult, who actually released in a pretty decent state. Not broken or anything like that, but also uh, pretty formidable, I would say. It's not the best Pokemon, but actually a pretty solid state. We had our Shifu. Water build, not good. Dark build, unbelievable right so you had this weird sort of mix there where the water build now is actually really good but at first not very good but you had its dark build very good sableye sorry where was i i was having sableye flashbacks again uh sableye was insane but not broken the way this is it was just very very frustrating to deal with and also was so horrible if the enemy team had a good one. It's a little different from Zacian, I would say. Zoroar, very, very strong, but I never thought this Pokemon was S tier broken, even when its Night Slash build was at its most powerful. It was a very good Pokemon, but I think Water Bear, Dark Bear, Zacian all put this Pokemon to shame. Clefable, released pretty undertuned. They actually had to buff it a few times to get it to be a very valuable Pokemon. Scissor Scyther, Scissor was horrible like horrid and scyther was actually okay upon release and now both of them are doing pretty good actually scissor falling off a little bit which is interesting then you had dodrio everyone thought it was bad but it was actually really good and now that pokemon's kind of settled off a little bit but never broken like this and then you had mew mew was kind of like this but it couldn't carry the way zashian can so i just wanted to give you a little history on some of the recent releases because I do think you should paint a little bit of a picture of what happens with releases in Pokemon Unite. It's not that they consistently release so broken that you can't do anything about them, and if you don't have one on your team, you're in so much trouble. I do think right now, if your team does not have a Zacian and the enemy team does, it does not mean you are going to lose this game, it just means your chances of winning go down tremendously. Especially if you see the enemy team has one of those comfy Zacian combos, they're playing together. Like, it's, it's tough. It's really, really tough. So now on to the big question. Is this OP or is this actually broken? Like, bugged, broken, and is this on purpose? Lazadin on Twitter had this to say. By the way, Lazadin, uh, they are the coach analyst for the number one team in the world. 
Zacian currently has an issue with Sacred Sword causing to ignore 100% of defenses with the buff active. The description of the move says partial defense ignore, so it's definitely bugged. This mon is completely unfair and needs a hotfix ASAP. Even if I don't know the stats of it, by the way, I recognize this needs a hotfix. It, it needs a few things to toned down, even if this gets changed. Normally, we don't spread bugs like this, but in this case, this type of bug combined with the ex execution method means spreading it doesn't do any real harm. You just press your move and hopefully getting the news out there will get the issue fixed faster. So that's a little information showing us that this Pokemon is possibly bugged, not only overpowered, but bugged. And I think the interesting thing is, this is just my take on it right here. I think they actually expected to release this Pokemon overpowered. I think personally, they should release every release, not crazy overpowered, but it should be slightly better than balanced if they get to pick. Like, let's say there's like a little balancing board right here and perfect balance is never going to happen. So if you are a dev and you get to have your new release slightly more powerful, or slightly underpowered, I would say that it should be, I don't know what I'm doing with this hand. I would say that it should always be slightly, slightly overpowered. I would always lean on it being a little better than bad. The reason for this being because you want your new releases to be exciting. Now, the way you tilt these scales, and I'm gonna forget how my hands go, the way you tilt these scales can be very, very bad. If it's way too powerful, that's a disgusting release. And basically you're setting up a situation where the people who are paying for one of these releases are essentially paying to win a little bit. And if it's a really, really weak release, then you're setting up just a horrible time for the entire community. It takes the excitement out of the game and people are like, yeah, whatever, who cares? That's how I felt around Scissors release. I thought, wow, this is such an underwhelming release for Pokemon Unite. I think in general, you want the Pokemon to come out really exciting, cool moves and have the ability to win and do really, really well inside your games. I do think they should be a little overtuned as opposed to undertuned. You always wanna find that delicate balance, but I think what they actually expected was Zashin was gonna come out and be really good. And, and the interesting thing is, there's a bug with this Pokemon that they did not expect and did not know was going to happen. There are bugs in this game all the time. They're not sure exactly where they come from. We see what's happening right now with Slowbro's Surf. We see what's going on with Dragonite kind of flying around in a very, very weird way when it uses Dragon Dance. We've had Cramorant being invisible. We had that weekend where Lucario could extreme speed and then do all this crazy, it was, I can't even remember exactly what it was doing, but it would use extreme speed and then as it landed, it's almost like it did five basic attacks at once or something like that. There are bugs that enter this game. And I think what has happened with Zacian is they have released a Pokemon that they knew was going to be good, really good, probably a bit overtuned and it has a massive bug with it. That is what I think is happening with this Pokemon. And now I put this question out to the community. What do you do knowing this? So I've seen so many people um, posting videos or posting screenshots where they do 250,000 damage and they have 30 KOs. I saw Chris Hero's post a video, he had 40 KOs or something like that. And I'm not taking anything away from these players. They're fantastic. I love, I love a lot of their content and they're all really wonderful people. I don't have anything against anyone making any of this stuff. The first night of me playing Zacian, even as I was playing it on stream, I was saying, I feel bad playing this. I just felt bad. It was too good. It was just too good. So the question is, what do we do? What do we do as a community? Well, one of the tough things is, if your team doesn't have one, and the enemy team does have one, you're in for a really horrible time. But then there's the question, well, we don't want to put the game down because the game's fun. Also for people who make content, this is what we do in general, right? But I want to play Pokemon Unite. I want to play Pain Split Trevenant. I want to play Espeon. I've been obsessed with this new Espeon build lately, but there is something really frustrating when the enemy team is a duo or a trio and they're running this most overpowered and possibly broken Pokemon in the game and your team doesn't have that. It's rough. What do you do? I'm asking you genuinely, what do you think as a community? What should we do? In general, I'm just gonna give my take on it. It's not that I will never pick it up until it's changed or something like that. I might play a game or two of it here or there, but in general, I'm just gonna stay away from this Pokemon. In fact, this isn't a, like a policy of mine. I have very little, <laughs> very few policies, but uh, I have stayed away from Pokemon that are 
profoundly broken just in general. I, I kind of just, I feel icky playing them when I recognize that what they do is uh, so broken that it feels like the enemy team can't compete. I don't mind playing a high tier Pokemon, like a high skill, high tier. If someone wants to play Faint Attack Zoroark or something like that, I'm not crazy opposed to it. Or if someone's playing Water Bear, or if they were playing like Dodrio, I played Dodrio at launch. They're good. They Some could argue they're the, one of the top tier Pokemon in the game, but I do try to stay away from things that are broken. I didn't play Mew for a long time because I just thought it was absolutely disgusting. Uh, the same thing uh, with Zacian right here. I just feel, I feel kind of gross playing it, but I also recognize that it's an exciting new shiny toy and I think people should get a chance to play it and have it. I don't know. I'm conflicted. I guess what I'm trying to tell you is I am conflicted with this. I'm going to be staying away from this Pokemon. I do think it's going to be getting a nerf very, very soon. I hope it does because I actually think it's hurting the ranked environment inside the game. I will tell you, if there's one on the enemy team and there's not one on our team, I bet you I lose 70, 80% of those games, like a lot higher than we would otherwise. But I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Is it broken? Is it OP? Is it a little bit of all of it? Oh, oh, oh. Before I go, I guess the real question here is, do I think Timmy is doing this uh, for the sole purpose of extracting money out of people and they're just releasing this OP broken thing to take money? And my answer is uh, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. I think they are recognizing this is an exciting new release and they expected this Pokemon to be overpowered and very, very good. And I also think this Pokemon ran into a bug that they did not expect. And I would not be surprised if we see an emergency patch soon that is at least a bug fix for some of the issues going on with this Pokemon. That's my opinion. I don't think things... I think you could only get away with trying to do that a couple times before people would decide that your game is uh, a complete joke. And if you look at the release of Pokemon inside Pokemon Unite, I think they tend to want them to be overpowered a little bit, which I actually think makes a lot of sense for releasing a new character. But I think at the same time, they don't have a track record of releasing every single Pokemon broken. If you just go back through every single release inside this game, we can just keep going. Going. Tyranitar, very, very good. Buzzwool, trash. Glaceon, really good, but one of the builds doesn't didn't really work. Delphox, pretty good, but it actually got better after they buffed it. Espeon, pretty mid. Azumarill, terrible. Duralanon, insane. Hoopa, game-changing. Aegislash, pretty dang good. Trevenant, horrible. So if you just go back, you recognize they don't have a history of trying to fleece players for money out of, you know, with some broken Pokemon, but I do think that they want their Pokemon releases to be very, very powerful. That's my thought on it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I love you very much. I'll see you all next time. I won't be playing Zacian. I won't. Mm -hmm. Except the one match where I do. This is so good.